Um, <clears throat> I've spent 15 years um, working in government and supporting a range of different organisations. This is my very first time that I've uh, given um, myself permission to work uh, on my own venture, which is uh, my own business, Making Everything Achievable, which is an intentional social design company. So, in essence, uh, we work in partnership with anyone uh, who needs support to help make their vision a reality. And one of the key questions that I've had since I started on this journey with EHF is how do we maximise all of this amazing talent in the room to amplify your impact here in Aotearoa, to positively impact our people, and in particular our Māori whānau that don't have access to this type of um, opportunity, um, and also help um, the EHF fellows land uh, with our people here in Aotearoa as well. So what's the problem? <clears throat> the problem is um, that we're disconnected to ourselves, um, people, community and the planet. And as I said before, with all this global talent, how can we use it to benefit uh, Māori and also uh, New, Zealand, New Zealand citizens and the rest of the world? <clears throat> A question that I'm posing to myself constantly is despite the technical skill that I may uh, be privileged enough to share with others, um, am I, is my work helping uh, to develop kinder, more loving humans? And also, how will we measure and in incentivise positive progress? So my core kaupapa is I'm a connector, and as an organisation, um, our purpose is to help connect the dots. Um, we specialise in Indigenous facilitation practice. I'm really grateful to Peggy because she talked to me about how we as a people have got a great skill in holding space. Holding space, cultivating space. But how do we utilise that opportunity to build relationship with self or with others? So we're going to develop some tools, training, a wraparound support to market this methodology locally and nationally. Um, and that will take place in the first year of my journey here in EHF. Also, in partnership, um, considering we had a great conversation about the blockchain, um, I'm putting my hand up to help develop conversations and movements on the development of an indigenous cryptocurrency. Um, <clears throat> the aim here is um, for a multiplier effect. So we're looking at a value that isn't just about the value exchange between me and you, um, but the metrics might be, are you kinder as a result? Um, are you kinder as a result? Um, are we planting more trees as, as a result? Is bird life starting to come back? Is life on the planet starting to increase? So how do we create a balance sheet that will incorporate that? And how can we also increase um, capital flows amongst Indigenous people and also uh, each other? One of the other solutions is Kainga Ora, an urban, eco-intelligent communal housing project in Wellington where individuals can live, learn, play and be. And then finally, in my third year here, the aim is uh, to develop um, an indigenous platform called MEA Capital to enable investors to increase their contribution and impact on the world through supporting indigenous and worthwhile projects that are making a real difference on people and the planet. So I spoke earlier about real-time value will be logged on the blockchain so that investors can get multiple levels of return through various metric points that are both tangible and intangible. For example, will our investment help to increase trees or increase life as well as the life force of the planet? So how will we start to measure those things? So our ask is I'm seeking an interest-free loan of a million dollars um, that we can leverage uh, with central government funding to help build um, our housing project and it'll be a place that um, the EHF fellows can live and use. Um, we also want support with the development of our Indigicoin white paper. Um, we'd like to connect to those um, who wish to combine uh, our collective superpowers to help make this work a reality. And finally, um, I'm seeking investors that are very interested in supporting a kaupapa, uh, who are interested in supporting, sorry, uh, Indigenous and kaupapa Māori enterprises. Kia ora tato.